Hello and welcome to this review of Video Maker FX. Video Maker FX is a program for Mac or PC that allows you to make videos and the idea is it allows you to make videos quickly. So you have to sign up through this members area. This cost me $27 and I've just left my credentials in here and I'm going to log in. So this is a local version running on my PC because that's what it does. I'm currently doing a 30 day challenge where every day for 30 days I publish one video to YouTube. This is going to be one of the ones I make in my 30 day challenge period. So do let me know what you think of the 30 day challenge. Do follow along by subscribing. I'd love to know what you think. So Video Maker FX is something that allows you to make videos quickly via text. And I've been looking for something like this for ages. So let's create a new project. Let's call this Test Demo 3 because I've probably done a test demo before. And you've got to add slides initially. Now what I like is you've got these themes and there's loads of them. Let's do, let's just have a look at this. So we get slides and we get a little preview and we can see what text comes in. Now we can add all the slides or we can add one slide. Let's add all the slides. That's what they're meant to do. So here we can see our preview, caption for the image. Not really sure what this one does. And then some text that comes in. So here we go to the side and we can edit the text. Look at this. Right, let's go back and let's put an image in. So image area one. Let's open the gallery. So we've got some inbuilt images. Let's do. Let's do that. OK, so let's add that. Now, clearly, we can add our own images in as well via browse files. We can change the scale. It doesn't seem particularly. It's a little bit clunky, isn't it? I'm not sure how we get it to center. But what we can do, we can click on these arrows and we can move it about. So I have to get it centered that way. Let's see that go in. Yeah, that's OK. Look at this. So we can change the background image. I'm quite happy with blue, but let's just look at how we how we do that. We could put, import our own file or we can open the gallery and background studio. Background transparent something like that. Anyway, I'm going to cancel. This will do. OK, so it's a shame it doesn't tell you what the image is. Now, we can also add shapes. But that doesn't really make much sense to me. We can add animations. Now, this is really quite good. It's really not obvious. Zero is off. But then look at all these animations we can do. Well, they're really quite good, aren't they? Now, actually, let's go back here and let's clear that image. And let's add some text. So it seems like we can't add text because we're following a template. So I can't I can't add any text here. Oh, anyway, I'm going to go here and on here we can add text. Wow, what a great video. Now you can see as you type things appear. So we've effectively made our project. We can go down here and we can duplicate slides if we want to. Let's get rid of that. I don't want to duplicate it. So then we can preview the project. So let's have a look at that. Now if we go and export it, the maximum we can export it at is 720p. And we can change the quality and we can essentially export it. I'm not going to do that today because what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another project and we're going to look at the various slide themes we've got. Now you can install additional slide themes. I don't know how you do that. So we've got whiteboard animations. Which are fairly 
you know, they're not going to be as good as Doodly, but they look okay. They're certainly better than things you would get in other pieces of software. I quite like the look of this. I could do, this was what I was looking for. Now, when I did my VSL review, I was looking for something where I could just type text in and it did sort of kinetic stuff and it was interesting, but that was actually a bit rubbish. So this looks so much better. So I guess what I'm trying to show you is there's loads of templates here that are really quite good. We've got lower thirds. This one looks really good. We've got all type of niches and because you can really quite edit these quite a lot, there's an awful lot you can do here. This kinetic promotion is going to be really good. Look at that. I mean, you can do really quite a lot with that. Let's have a look at character Frank. So I think we'll use character Frank and we'll try and do a little video of character Frank. So here we go. Character Frank. Oh, it's adding all the slides. So. I'm Big G video. So yeah, that's my little video. And now I'm going to make it so that you can see it as my end screen. So it works through a slide at a time. It goes and renders all the pieces for the slide. And when we get there, I'll put it up and you can see the end screen. So let me know what you think of my 30 day challenge. Let me know if you think Video Maker FX is something you'd be interested in.